Anna Dagbashan and you're watching the news broadcast on the state television company Western Armenia. Today's broadcast. Presidential Council of the Republic of Western Armenia 2020. A woman tore the Azerbaijani flag in Western Armenia. This is another crime committed by Beku, the Ombudsman of Armenia on demarcation. This is not a demarcation of the border with Azerbaijan. The response of the Ministry of Foreign Affairs of the Republic of Armenia to the human rights defender. Terrorist attack in Syria, 28 people killed, some injured. The message of the state television company Western Armenia. Dear compatriots, I am aware of our current situation, especially when I have information about what is happening on the borders of the Republic of Armenia. First of all, I would like to express my condolences to the families as a soldier of the nation. We were expecting a tribute of national and military respect in memory of the soldiers who fell in the field of honor of the sacred land of Artsakh, whose graves are partially located in the Yerablur Cemetery in Yerevan. We have seen a political march that did not refer to the military actions of those soldiers for the protection of Armenian territories and the Armenian civilian population. We, Western Armenia, remind that in accordance with the code of honor of our armed forces, it is necessary to organize a ceremony as soon as possible, which will be worthy of the fight against the death of our soldiers. Today, I want you to be sure that our positions are clear and that all these crimes will have an adequate response. Dear compatriots, I want to wish the Armenian nation resistance, will, success and vigor for the sake of our rights and patriotism. A fair solution to the problem of claims, based on the fact that we are natives of our homeland and the fact that we celebrated the centenary of the arbitral award on August 10, signed by the 28th President of the United States Woodrow Wilson on December 22. The letter fixed our inalienable and irrevocable right. Let me congratulate our compatriots living in and outside of our homeland. I wish the Defense Forces of Western Armenia, the Armenians of the Middle East and Artsakh, and other indigenous peoples strong resistance to peace. A stronger Western Armenia will be by your side. We are doing everything in order to make 2021 a year of decisive, positive changes. I wish the members of the Republic of Western Armenia, Armenian structures abroad, the National Council of Western Armenia, the members of the government of the Republic of Western Armenia, the deputies of the National Assembly, a year of unity. Let this positive change be a foundation for deep and harmonious activity on the difficult path of solving the national priority problem. May 2021 be a year of fulfillment of fair demands. Nothing is over. The struggle continues. December 31, 2020. President of the Republic of Western Armenia, Armenak Abrahamian. Brotherhood towards the Azerbaijani people in Western Armenia is mainly artificial and a significant part of the population doesn't share it. An example of which is the video that appeared on the internet in which a woman tears the Azerbaijani flag in the street of Turkey. The police tried to prevent her actions, but some people defended the woman. The pro-Azerbaijani orientation, especially during the Artsakh war, is mainly supported by religious extremists and pan-Turkic radicals, who are the main voters of Turkish President Recep Tayyip Erdogan and his Justice and Development Party. President Armenak Abrahamian is sorry that the Armenian government and some Armenian political parties have not realized that Western Armenia is not Turkey just as Shushi, Hadrut, Asgeran, Karvajar or Nakhijevan are not Azerbaijan. The retreat continues, including in Zangezur. Osputnik Armenia, the human rights defender of the Republic of Armenia, Arman Tatoyan, referred to the process on the borders of Armenia, commenting on it referring to the vital rights of the population of the border communities. The issues of border demarcation should be viewed in the context of propaganda of hatred towards Armenians by Azerbaijani authorities. The human rights defender of the Republic of Armenia, Arman Tatoyan, expressed his viewpoint in a conversation with Sputnik Armenia. These discussions with Azerbaijan and giving solutions to certain issues should be done, taking into consideration the war crimes, the crimes against humanity, the tortures and the inhuman attitude committed by the Azerbaijani armed forces against our people, Tatoyan said. According to him, the issues of endangering the vital rights of the residents of the border settlements, life, physical immunity, physical security, property and other rights are the most important in the process. Unfortunately, all these issues are not properly paid attention and attitude to, and the approaches are wrong, Tatoyan mentioned. The full article is available on our website. The Ministry of Foreign Affairs responded to Arman Tatoyan's request by presenting details about the demarcation process. The implementation of the current measures is not related to status issues and cannot be interpreted as a final agreement on demarcation 
or approval of existing administrative boundaries. The Ministry of Foreign Affairs of the Republic of Armenia provided such a comment in response to the official request of the Human Rights Defender. Tatoyan posted the full response of the Ministry of Foreign Affairs on his Facebook page. The Ministry of Foreign Affairs informs that delimitation and demarcation are bilateral international processes, which require the presence of a joint commission, within the framework of which professional discussions and negotiations are held. A primary condition for the above-mentioned processes is the existence of a normal bilateral and diplomatic relations between the neighboring countries. In international practice, a bilateral intergovernmental commission consisting of representatives of state stakeholders and experts is formed to carry out these processes. The full article is available on our website. Terrorists attacked a passenger bus in Syria, as a result of which 28 civilians were killed and 13 were injured. As reported by Terrorist.am, the attack took place on Derzor Palmyra Highway near Kabajeb. Armed clashes and terrorist attacks in Syria have been going on since 2011. It was announced that Syria had defeated the Islamic State terrorist group in Iraq at the end of 2017. Actions directed on eliminating terrorists continue in some regions. Dear compatriots, the state television company Western Armenia congratulates you on the upcoming holidays, Christmas and New Year. We are leaving 2020, a year full of trials and losses. This year, Armenia faced a war unleashed against us by Azerbaijan, Turkey and their allied mercenary terrorists. We lost the battle. The war is surely not over yet. The final victory will be ours. Now, our main goal is to unite the potential of all Armenians for the glory of united Armenia. 2021 will be a year to work our next steps out, to reconsider the mistakes we have made and to make inquiries. We believe that we will have new achievements. Dear compatriots, we once again congratulate you on New Year and Christmas. May the New Year bring peace and prosperity to your families and our country. Glory to our heroes. Stay peaceful. Now we present you Sharan. <laughs> The full version is available on the official website of Western Armenia TV. This was all for today. Goodbye.